encouraging qualified U.S. citizens living abroad to take part in elections, aligns with the core democratic principles of active civic involvement and democratic engagement. Well, and it just shows you that history truly repeats itself from, you know, the crucible to the, the Salem witch trials to, but I think it's important to, to note the goal of Hamas is literally the destruction of Israel. And an angle that nobody is really talking about is there are 750,000 Americans living in Israel. 600,000 of those people are eligible to vote. Why are we not getting every single one of those people get registered to vote and get them a meal and ballot? And furthermore, this is going to sound a little crazy to some people, but look at what the Democrats do. They resettle people from foreign countries into our country strategically. Look at Minnesota how they were able to take the Somali population and take over. And that's how we have Ilhan Omar today. That these, and her daughter. That these really ideas were imported into our country. Why are we not being smart and strategic, for example, and taking Canadian Amish and resettling them into Wisconsin <laughs> and Michigan and Pennsylvania? That's what I would Dude, do. Dude, the legally, left would legally, vote for legally. a border wall so fast if you started doing that kind of thing. So Amish come down and descend upon America. Scott Pressler's discussion of the Hamas issue and Israel's destruction objective can be analyzed. While the public generally supports Israel, there may be questions about whether this historical context is pertinent to the broader dialogue on voter registration. Concerns arise regarding Scott Pressler's suggestion to strategically relocate specific immigrant communities to certain states to sway election outcomes. Such tactics may be viewed as manipulative running counter to fairness and equitable representation principles.